partners of sleep talkers or sleepwalkers, what gems have you to share? Years ago, my wife was mumbling in her sleep and seemed a bit upset. I wanted to comfort her, without waking her up too much. So I said, honey, you're fine. Do you know where you are? She slugged me in the arm, and said I'm in place where punch buggies are seen first. She then rolled over and muttered to herself, chugga 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 buggy, and went back to sleep. She didn't remember a thing the next morning. Napping with the boyfriend. A loud noise wakes me, but HES still out. Me. What was that? Him. Either a tree or a magic eraser. Not a partner but. One o'clock in the morning I got a phone call from my friend in the next street. My six-year-old daughter had just knocked on her door and then walked in mumbling about not being able to do her sums. I raced up there and walked home with her. Put her back to bed and she didn't wake up or remember a thing the next day. By the next night our house was like Fort Knox. I'm the sleep talker. I don't remember any of this. But my boyfriend said I did this to him. In the middle of the night I hit my boyfriend's ass hard with my knee. Obviously he was pretty upset. He sat up to stretch. And I said I'll stretch too. Did stretches. And laid back down. Then, while making full eye contact with him, I grabbed the blanket and threw it off of him, then rolled over and started snoring immediately. Heck yes. Please take a seat. My wife was an avid sleep talk for a long time and her midnight announcements range from simple single words to elaborate speeches. The ones that really stand out to me are, waking up in the middle of the night to her suddenly sitting violently up in bed, throwing back the covers, and screaming, tarantula, that will make you very awake, very quickly, whispering my name repeatedly which woke me up so she could share in a hushed, cautious voice, there is an alligator in here. When I expressed my concern playing along she told me, still whispering, that, it's okay, it has been here before, but my all-time favorite was when, from her perspective as she later explained, she was dreaming that I was playfully sneaking up on her and she saw me and was calling me on it. From my perspective, my wife sat up in the middle of the night, starting into the darkest corner of the room and said repeatedly in a soft sing-song voice, I see you, my flipping blood froze. My mom sleepwalks sometimes. When she was in the middle of her residency, she came into my room in the middle of the night and sharply asked, did you give patient her dose of medication, like I asked you to 15 minutes ago? I groggily replied, who, wah, she just huffed and said, well I guess that answers my question. Before turning around and leaving, without closing the door of course, she didn't remember a thing about it the next morning. What is it with moms never closing bedroom doors? It transcends age race location and all other demographics imaginable. If you're a mom, bedroom doors do not close. It is the way, to the moms reading this, be the change. My wife was mumbling a lot and suddenly shouted donkey kick. As she kicked me in my shin, so that was fun. We were freshly married and living overseas. My husband hadn't had much sleep the nights before, which usually enhances any sleep talking. It was hot in our room. My husband mumbled something which I didn't quite catch. I asked him to repeat it. He got up, opened the bedroom window and said very pointedly airflow, bitch. Then laid back down, completely asleep. Now, my husband has never, not once, ever called me a name or even raised his voice to me. So this is particularly hilarious fantastic sleep songs with lyrics which are utterly bizarre. My two absolute favorites have been, one oh whoa whoa, it's a corner cat, to obey my rules, and, you'll always be, a country cowboy, repeated about five times and finished with a year. I'd be the king of Monaco. My wife said this one night out of nowhere. The funniest part was her tone of voice, proud and assertive, like she was really sure of her claim to the throne. Anyway, the joke's on her. Monaco is a principality. My aunt likes to tell the story about her and my cousin sharing a hotel room one time. My aunt woke up having to pee, and found my cousin sitting up in bed with her arms folded across her abdomen kind of rocking back and forth and giggling quietly. When my aunt asked her what she was doing, my cousin said, I'm holding a baby and it has an adult smile. I found this story deeply unsettling. 
my wife started screaming one night that she was lost in the local grocery store, and that no matter where she went she couldn't find her way out. I asked her has she tried checking out at the cash registers. She then looked at me and said in her most sincere voice, that's why you are the smartest person I know. And she rolled over and fell back asleep. He got up, went into the kitchen and ate one bite of a mini pecan pie, no fork, just a straight bite, then apparently remembered he hates pecan pie and left it stacked neatly on the little box. Another time he sat up and stared straight ahead at the wall, didn't respond to me asking what was wrong, he stood up, walked into the wall, then stood there like he was contemplating the barrier, he just backed up exactly as he came, sat down and swung back into bed like nothing happened, that was creepy. When I was a child about 5 years old, I was sleeping in my parents bed for some reason probably a storm, mom was awake, dad and I were asleep. Suddenly my father and I have this cross-sleep conversation while my mom lays between us, quietly freaked out. Dad, you better not take my toys. I mutter angrily, okay, I won't my father responds, don't even touch them, okay, not particularly scintillating conversation, but notable for the fact that we're both asleep and still responding to each other, it was like making Alexa and Siri talk to each other lol. My missus called me a wriggly little enzyme while she w sleeping. I've never ever heard her use that word before. He started shouting that he couldn't feel his left arm. I pointed out he was pinching his pillow, not his arm. He then freaked out that he had lost his arm. I pointed out his arm was under his pillow. He said okay and started snoring. It took me another hour to get back to sleep. He didn't wake up at all. My mom used to wake me up for school because I'd sleep through my alarms. She has a bunch of stories about weird shit I've said to her right before waking. He's not here. Check down the street. Just put it on the roof and it'll blow away. My mom has to do this with my younger brother and most recently he sat up while still asleep. Started moving his arms really quickly as though running and said, I am the fastest man alive Barry Allen. I have had funnier experiences than this one, but cannot remember exactly what was said. Most recently, though, my boyfriend scoots over to me to big spoon, little spoon, and I snuggle in, thinking that's all it was. Then he gets real close to my ear and whispers, just so you know, there's something in the closet, like a, a cartoon turtle. I did my best not to bust out laughing and just said, okay honey, when he woke up, he had no memory of it whatsoever, of course. Roommate freshman year of college was a sleepwalker, sleeptalker. We were in the freshman dorms. Small little room. I woke up one night and saw him sitting straight up on the side of the bed just staring at me eyes fully open just talking gibberish about golf. He was going on about Phil Mickelson or some shit. Have to be honest. It was creepy as all hell because he was staring directly into my eyes. Next morning, I told him about it and he just laughed and said, Sorry, I tend to do that from time to time. LMAO one time, my ex was asleep and started to snore progressively louder. He startled himself half awake, and he says out loud to himself shut up, I'm sleeping. Oh I snorted my drink through my nose. My girlfriend does a bit of sleep talking. I mentioned a sheep character from Animal Crossing Dom and she sounded like she was about to cry saying he doesn't have hands. Which, to be fair, he doesn't. My grandfather was a hard sleep talker. My grandmother has a funny story. One day my grandfather while sleeping was saying do I punch this asshole?" My grandmother replayed yeah punch him then my grandfather in his sleep punched her. My boyfriend woke me up the other day by gently putting his fingers in my mouth and I kept moving my head out of the way until eventually I was like can you stop that. He then sounded genuinely upset and asked why I woke him up as he was having a really nice dream about feeding a deer. Brilliant. My girlfriend was sleep working one night. Her. Can we get that done this week? Me. Her. Her. Can we get that done this week? Me. Sorry. Her. Can we get that done this week please? Me. Okay. Her. Thanks. I'm the sleep talker here. Got this from my wife the next morning. Me. Sits bolt upright there coming. Everything's ready. Wife. Sleepily huh. Me. They're coming. Everything's ready. Wife. They're coming. Me. Um hum. Wife. But everything's ready. Me. Yes.
Wife. Sounds like we're okay then. Me. Comically flops back down and instantly goes back to sleep. I've been told that. As a child. My father would regularly sleepwalk into his dad's bedroom and urinate in his work shoes. Who is the man of the house now? Not a partner but in military training and school I often took the night shift for guard duty. The amount of sleepwalkers and talkers is way higher than I expected. It is straight creepy when you have to walk down the halls with a covered flashlight listening to big ass grown men mumbling and lashing out in their sleep. What takes the cake though is often sleepwalkers will just kinda stop randomly. So you'll be walking along in the pitch black darkness and suddenly there is just a f dude standing there. Eyes generally closed. Or worse open, just kinda listing to the side or leaning against a bedpost or wall. After I'd suppress all the swear words I was about to yell out. Nothing much to do but kinda prod them along back to their bed. For all the randomness that is being part of the military, I really didn't expect one of my jobs to be gently tucking my fellow soldiers back into their beds. My brother did that in the middle of the night. He would get up go into the living room, say some nonsense shit to our parents and go back to bed. It was actually pretty creepy the first times. Because he was like, they are in the walls. They are. My boyfriend once blurted out you're putting bread in my ears in his sleep, numbled something unintelligible and then followed up with an I'm becoming a sandwich. Still makes me laugh whenever I remember. Ex-roommate talked in his sleep. Once. He cried out. No Gandalf. Thank you.